Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. How are you doing? I want to show you how to connect your TV to a wireless headset, headphones, like this right here, and your surround sound receiver. And if you want the TV speakers working, they'll be working too. So you got three audios out, you know, you can listen to three different ways. So uh, how you want everything connected to do that is um, HDMI 1, I got connected to my Blu-ray player. HDMI 2 is my high definition cable box. And then the digital optic out right here, that goes to your receiver, surround sound receiver. All right, and we have it set on the TV input right here. So no matter if you're watching Blu-ray, DVD slash DVD, you know, it's a standard DVD player. It's a five disc carousel, if you were wondering. Cable, HD cable box, or the VCR. As long as that's always to TV, you'll get surround sound. Instead of hitting this button and this button and that button, it, it's always set to TV. Got it? Now, good thing about that is if this is turned off, you'll still have your TV speakers working on your TV set. Okay. So that's the TV speakers. And if you want your surround sound on, you just turn on your surround sound. And then your surround sound will turn on. All right, so you get the best of both worlds there. So if this ever burns out, then at least you have your TV and your wireless headphones uh, headset you can use. Now, your headset is right here, and to turn that on, you have to put it actually on your head. So uh, that's an on switch like right there. So I'm gonna show you that. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me lower the TV so you can. All right, so now I lower the TV volume and I lower the surround sound receiver volume. Now I lift up on this, it should turn on. See? So that works uh, perfect. What we're trying to do all right, so now you got the best of both worlds. But you can also do the headset and the surround sound. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but they both work at the same time. Now how I have that hooked up is this way. I have it hooked up this way. So the Blu-ray player is HDMI 1. And then the um, HD cable box is HDMI 2. And that could be, I guess, like, you know, PlayStation 3 or Xbox if you wanted to. And then the optic out is going to the TV optic input on the surround sound receiver. And then the audio out right here. You have to, on Samsung TVs, you have to have that adapter. But on your regular TV set, some it would be like a red and white. Um, So, kind of like that looking, it would look like that. And that's actually hooked up to the wireless headset right there. So that's how you charge it. That's that wireless headset thing. All right, so again, to recap, that's the surround sound receiver audio cable. And that is um, the audio cable for your wireless headset dock. And then down there, if you're wondering, that's the VCR, is the coax cable. And the next one over is, that is the standard DVD player. So right there is the five disc standard DVD player. That's how you would hook it up right there. All right, if you have any questions, just you know, post a comment below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And that's all the devices that it's hooked up. So now if you want to go ahead and change the input, hit video source, and I labeled all the inputs, cable, Blu-ray, and then standard DVD. 
so it's really easy to use. So you just hit video source, video source again, video source. Every time you hit video source, it moves it up and down. That's VCR, that's Blu-ray, that's HD cable box, and that's the standard DVD five disc carousel thing, DVD player. All right, and then if you want to change the um, edit the names, you just hit video source, and why it's on this sub menu, you would quickly hit tools. So once you hit tools, the tools button, you edit name right there and hit OK. And then this menu will come up. And you go up, up, up. So that's the Blu-ray player. Down, down, down. And then hit select. And that's how you edit it. And that's saved now as a Blu-ray. So, you know, what's what. It makes it easier. And hit exit. So, again, if you hit video source, it goes to cable. And then, no, and then automatically switches your surround sound right there. So your TV does the audio video selector. Yeah, so your TV becomes audio video selector instead of the um, receiver remote. So that eliminates pretty much, you know, makes things a little bit simpler for most people, hooking it up this way. All right, thanks.